up, y'all? Hunter B. Brown back. Final Fantasy IX. Oh, I love my air conditioner on. My bad. <laughs> Oh, wow, we are just starting out of all sorts of crazy good today. Okay, so how y'all been? Hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, Ari Bellia's surgery went great. She's going to fully recover. So, yeah, I'm home for the day. Let's get to work. I got to pick up a load tonight, though. It picks up at 7 o'clock, so here we go. Getting your Zen state, Hunter P. Getting your Zen state. Steiner, Beatrix. How horrible that her life had to end this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, it was my... No, it was my fault. Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandra alone. Will both of you please help me during this, my time of need? Yes, Princess. Certainly. Thank you. Even with all her doing, she was still her adoptive mother. Princess, here is a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. I think I'm... I forgot what voice I gave him. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. The townspeople sent it as an offering to the queen's grave. Well, that sounds like Merrick. Fuck! <sighs> I need to rewatch my old episodes to get this right. True, Queen Bronn had been acting quite erratic before her death. But the people are still very fond of her, as you can see. I can see that much. Mother, I shall become a great queen. It's kind of on the loud side. Hang on. Check out the HD on that. You can actually see Bronze name written in there. It's pretty cool. You know what needs to be done, Dagger. Let's get to work doing it. Talk about being thrusted right into it. Princess, we have arrived at the castle. She won't be a princess for much longer, Dr. Todd. <laughs> Indeed. I shall have to call you Queen Garnett after the coronation. Like I said, I forgot what voice I gave him. We ain't seen him since Trino, so... I must make preparations for the crowning of our new queen. General Beatrix, Master Sina, will you help her? Yeah. 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 Princess, please watch your step. Dr. Tot? Princess? I know how hard this must be, but I will be by your side. Please take the throne with full confidence. Damn, thrusted into the queen position at the age of 16. I mean, if you read the Bible, there's there's kings and queens that were... They hadn't even reached puberty yet, and they're already uh, rulers of kingdoms. It's pretty cool, actually. Three more days until the crowning of a new queen. What a day. Glad you're celebrating, Steiner. What about the rest of us? We ain't seen each other in ages. Why the sourpuss, partner? What happened? Well, maybe that dagger chick dumped him. Ugh. Bingo. This ain't like you at all, Zidane. Hey, Ruby. I heard you started a mini theater. That's right, darling. My plays are a hit. Cool. Let's go watch. Yeah. All right, cowboys. So dang, you ain't coming, are you? That's all right, darling. Come on over whenever you want. Let's go, boys. Ugh. This way, everyone. Hey, hey. Oops, sorry. Huh? Hey, Vivi. Hello. I haven't seen you since you left Alexandria Castle. How are you? 
Well, a lot of things happen, but I'm doing fine. How about you? What have you been doing since we left the castle? Me? Let's... Oh, yeah, it's been crazy since you guys escaped. Rusty, that rat chick, Freya, and, uh... And, uh, what's her face? That girl, General of Alexandria. Beatrix. Yeah, the three of them got totally worked. Marcus and I had to carry him out on our backs. But Marcus? <laughs> we gotta get going before Ruby gets mad at us again. Oh, uh, yeah, she hates it when we're late. Sorry, Vivi, I'll see you later. I guess it's just me and Vivi. Sleep's useless. Eh. Are you friends with the man sitting at the table? I think his friends went to the mini theater. The mini theater was started by the last owner of this bar and a girl named Ruby. Don last night's play was great. I'm so glad I pushed myself to make a great sign for it. I can still look around for some treasures. There were a few I forgot last time I came through here. Plus, since I'm playing as Vivi, I might have another chance to do the jump rope shit. Been a long time, been a long time, been a while. Where have you been? We were worried. Sorry, I've been training. Training, training? Yeah, training. Training for what? Tell us. It was... Welcome. Okay, you ain't got nothing I want. I've been looking to play against an experienced card player. Well, I ain't got cards, so well, I don't play cards. Unless they're on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, the jump rope girls aren't here anymore. I think you can only do it at the beginning of the game, though, I think. I, I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> Zidane's done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it. He's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. You call that serious? Seriously? Come on, he's in love with the queen. Did you think it'd work out? I'm sure he thought a lot about that. That's why he's in turmoil. He looks so depressed. Yeah. But this is something he needs to deal with head on. This is going to make him stronger. You'll see. No, it's just going to make me drink all day long. Artemision? A purple Moogle. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, still skin, long time no see. Hey, Artemision. Why does your coat look so shiny? Well, it's none of my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Of course I have. Are you sure that you delivered all my mail to my friends? Of course I did. You sent out four. But what about the other two? Uh-oh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they're not here no more. Do you think Princess Garnet will be a good queen? Yeah, I think so. I think Princess Garnet... I'm sure Princess Garnet will do a fine job. Are you here to see the new queen, too? And I will show you the way to a queen. Get out of the way, you two. Nobody likes y'all. Get back there, damn it! My kitten mittens ran away. Hey, have you been traveling? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Now get out of the way. And take your allowance. If I can get down the fucking stairs, there. Like I said, man, the controls are wonky. They don't want to work right. I forgot if you can find his cat or not, but, I mean, I can at least try. The hell? 
Onion Meister. I don't know what to serve after the new Queen's Coronation Festivals. Oh, I wish the chef that cooked for Princess Garnet's birthday party would come back. He's somewhere. He'll be here again soon. When you least expect it. You know anything about Regent Shid's wife? Yeah. Okay, then. Okay, then. No. Regent Shid's wife is a very stubborn woman. What gave that away? I'm just wondering. Ah, hello. You want to buy a set of Phoenix Pinion High Potion Elixir for 777? Yes, please. Thanks, buddy. I'll use the money for my next journey. I'm Art Mission, the Magnet Mailman. You're asking me why I don't deliver mail properly? I, I can't tell you. Can I help you, Kupo? From Margrita to Kupo. Even Moogles want to look beautiful. I use my special item very carefully. If you don't come across it very often, it's very special to me, Kupo. Oh, it's a letter from Margrita. The most beautiful Moogle in the world. What a pleasant surprise, Kupo. Pleasant indeed. Let's find this kitten. It's got to be somewhere around here. Let's pull the rope. Ooh! Iron Knight card. Goblin card. Fang card. Shiva card. Ramu card. I guess it's not going to let us back up. Oh, well. How are you supposed to get that cat? Meh. Ruby's mad at me. How can I calm her down? Yo, Vivi. Can you do me a favor? What is it? I want you to see Ruby's play with us. Mm. Sure, I like plays. Cool. Go down the staircase behind us. That's where Ruby's theater is. Bro. You and Ruby really don't get along very well. Might as well. I still got my shades on. Wow. Blank. Don't you know I hate it when you're late? How many times I gotta tell you? Jesus Christ, woman. Huh? Who are you? Strange, kinda. Hey, Vivi. Is he a friend of yours, Cena? Hello, Uncle Cena. I'm not old enough to be your uncle. Are you kidding me? I was 13 when I was an uncle. I'm younger than I look. <laughs> You're a funny one. I like you. Want to see my play, little fella? Uh, um, yeah. Oh, what a sweetie. I like you even more. We'll get rolling in a minute. Sit wherever you want. Think your plan worked. Ain't nothing to it. Blank, we'll talk later. Busted. <laughs> Steiner? Yes, Princess. Um, I'd like to find Sedane and talk to him. Princess, you have more important matters at hand. You live in a different world now. Oh, what's happening here? Princess, it's time for you to get changed. General Beatrix, will you help her? Yes, sir. Oh, there's something I must give you, Princess. An opal. Topaz. Amethyst. Those stones contain your power, which Queen Braun forcibly... <laughs> well, that is all in the past. So now we got most of our summons back. Steiner, do you plan to help her as well? Master Steiner? Master Steiner, you didn't stay here and watch? No. No, I'm not. Excuse me. I was going to do rap tunes, but... <laughs> I think I've already overused all his jokes. Beatrix, I'd like to see Sedane, please. Now may not be a good time. Even if you agree with Steiner... Your Highness. I know. It's okay. Hey, Aiko. 
with Dagger out of the picture. Now's my chance to win Zidane's heart. First, I'll write him a love letter. I'm gonna make it the most romantic letter ever written. So how come Eiko gets to wander around the castle? Becoming a princess may place quite a burden on Princess Garnett, but she must persevere. The people of Alexandria are watching. What gave that away, you big-nosed bastard? He looks pretty smart. Hey, you look like the bookish type. <laughs> well, what gives you that impression? You really want me to explain? Oh, yes, I'm very curious. Where should I start? First, your beard. Second, your nerdy hat. Third, your thick eyeglasses. All signs of a nerdy philosopher. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you? Hey, are you a writer? Well, yes, I did make a living as a writer for a while. Will you help me write a letter? A letter? Gladly, if you think I could be of assistance. Okay then, follow me. That girl has a horn. That horn. I think he's starting to piece things together. I had completely forgotten about it till now. I'd never been as surprised as I was that day. A ship drifted ashore after a storm. Inside the ship were a woman and a baby girl. The woman was dead, but the girl was still breathing. Imagine my surprise as I look into the girl's face. Because the girl... Looked exactly like Princess Garnett, who had just passed away. With one exception. She had a horn. A human with a horn. Where had she come from? The king ordered the girl's horn removed. The girl cried out in pain. Well, duh! He and his wife, Queen Braun, decided to raise the girl as Princess Garnett. But that girl who spoke to me, could she be related to Princess Garnett? Hey, will you hurry up? Oh, excuse me. Like I said, I forgot what fucking voice I gave him. Princess, you look splendid. Oh my. Thank you. By the way, there is something I must tell you, Beatrix. Yes, Princess? I am not my mother. I mean, Queen Bronze not my real mother. Princess Garnett? Dr. Todd has already informed us. However, my allegiance to you remains the same, if not stronger. Beatrix? Thank you. It's finished! Zidane will fall in love with me the instant he reads this letter. Thanks, mister. <laughs> it was my pleasure, my lady. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my name's Aiko. I'm from Zidane Sari. I hope to see you again. Bye bye From Zidane Sari? Zidane Sari is the village of summoners. But I thought it was only a legend. What could this mean? It means shit. Talk about a brain buster. Can I help you, Koopo? Got any mail? Koopo, what's going on, Alexandra? Shoulders are everywhere. I want mail, Koopo. I can't help you. You're on your own. What is going on here? Lots of craziness. Is there something I can give her to help her out? Yeah, she can learn shell for a little while. She's still learning all that. We can swap this out. She ain't gonna learn nothing. I guess she can't. She's still learning insomnia. We kind of need that. And she's still learning Fenrir, so... Mm, I guess there's that. Where am I going? Zidane's in town. Oh, I can't wait to hand this letter to Zidane. Where'd he go, anyway? Up! Ah! ah, help! Hey, are you okay? You can't breathe. Sorry, I didn't see you jump out. But you're too high up. I can't get you down. <laughs> Stop laughing, you shithead! Oh, shoot. My letter. Hey, if you can't get me down... Deliver that letter to Zidane, alright? To Zidane? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> what the shit are you doing here anyway, Bagu? I hope 
hope I said that right. I don't think I've ever said his name out loud. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, Baku. Why'd I say Bagu? Hey, the bone ain't here. Castle patrol completed. Huh? Why, if it isn't Baku, the leader of Tantalus. Who just called my name? Oh, it's you. Uh, should we capture him? Nah, he saved my life. You may go. I will handle this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't such a knucklehead anymore, huh? Silence! This is no place for thieves. You must leave now. So that's how it is, huh? Do I gotta remind you that one of my boys saved your kingdom? But I bet you ain't got no ears for listening to a low life like me. Are you talking about Zidane? Well, yes, he did protect the princess and her kingdom. But that doesn't change the fact that you are all thieves. I cannot let your kind roam about the castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Ain't that a bitch? Well, I ain't got no reason to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where Zidane might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we returned. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two about proper manners. Okay, I get your fucking point. I've had enough of your self-righteousness. Flip fuck, get the fuck off your high horse. No oh, perfect timing. Take me to town. Up your Steiner. Oh, that's why he's all pissed off. And he dropped the fucking letter. Ooh. Ah, so it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. to play than you'd think. I don't play it that often. I should probably... If I played this as much as I play my bass, actually, I still wouldn't be able to play it. <laughs> gotta be able to bring... I gotta find a smaller bass to take with me on the truck. So I can relearn how to play it again. Alexandra's at peace now, yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Hmm? Steiner must have dropped this. Uh-oh. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall wait you at the dock. What is this letter? Did Steiner... write me a love letter? <laughs> Steiner... Dagger. Are you all cozy on your throne already? No. No, no, no. I can't start my day without Dagger. Her smile, her voice. Her voice is like a beautiful song. And her song makes me soar high into the sky. But now... You can still fly high, darling. Zidane, you can do it. She's right. Why are you still moping? That isn't like you at all. Yeah. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel. Whoa! Long time no Z, Dane. What happened? You look fucking pathetic. Boss, let me join Tantalus again. We can steal treasure together just like old times. Treasure, eh? <laughs> there ain't much treasure lying around in this world, boy. Besides, 
A Tantalus always gets what he sets his eyes on. That's our rule number one, remember? No, you don't. You've got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't even capture Canary, you ain't got what it takes to join Tantalus. Boss. Hey, Zidane, can we go see Dagger? <laughs> Why can't you be more honest like this little guy? Can we, can we? Please? All right. Let's cheer her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah. Vivi, you've got more balls than Zidane right now. I forgot. Darn, I forgot to give Zidane that letter. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I lost it. Nice going. Get out of the way. I want to become a soldier when I grow up, but if this is what I'd have to put up with. I'm the queen. My orders are absolute. Hey, what does absolute mean? It means without doubt. Oh, we just exited. Wow. We don't need to exit. Get back in there. What are you doing, Hunter P? Like I said, I think there was a couple things I forgot. Like that. Now, why are you getting such lame treasure if you don't play card games? Except that, unless they're on motorcycles. There's actually something I can get if I get more treasure. She's late. I wonder if she ditched me. The statue was built to commemorate General Medellin, who fought in the Ninth Limbum War in 1399. At the tender age of 13, General Medellin fought against the Limbum Army with only nine soldiers under command. She died in 1401, well before her time. I already read it, you fucker. God damn it! He said to meet him here, but he's late. Oh, that's... They're both there, and they don't realize it. You ever thought about walking around the statue? I'm just wondering. So how do we go about seeing Dagger? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out. That's a dang. Doesn't even stop by to say hello. What are you staring at? Are you really that tough? Try me. I don't go looking for trouble, but I'll fight back if trouble finds me. Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Ha! Ah, ba, 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 ba. Stop right now. We'll charge you both with disorderly conduct. Hey, what's going on here? It's a Dane. I'd love to stop and talk, but I'm busy right now. Is she a friend of yours? Then tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the flaming Amaranth. Sorry, Amaranth. She's just a little worked up about something. Sorry, babe. They're my friends. <laughs> Will you let them go for my sake? Sure. Prince is going to ask us to give you special treatment to you, Master Vivian, Miss Freya. Dagger. I see. Thanks. Hey, Freya. Stop being so mad, all right? I'm right here. Do you know why I'm really mad? It's because of you! Where have you been? Dagger's about to become queen, and you're off wandering about. Have you found out anything more about Kuja? Well, answer me! Um... Kind of caught in the spot. Well, I tried to find more info, but look, if Kuja was responsible for taking Dagger's idolins and killing Bronn, who was working with him? Don't you think he'd come after Dagger again? I know. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. Besides, she's going to be a queen. She'll have all the guards she'll need. She won't need me. But Zidane, I think Dagger wants to see you. So, let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Zidane, 
You're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. <laughs> Suit yourself. All right, so we got a full party. Let's go with, let's get the annoy. Uh, he's still learning counter. Can we swap this out? Nope. What about this? Oh, baby. Yeah, the mug ability. That way we can steal something while doing damage. Yep, she can look. She's got her, uh. Yeah. Ramu, Shiva, Ifrit. There was one more. I think it's a Tomos. Yeah, Tomos. There's Leviathan right there. Wait a sec. What else? What else? We already checked him. What about you? We ain't done anything for you in a while. There we go. Learn the high tide move. What you got here? Lamia's Tyrant. Okay. Well, she's still learning that. What about this? There you go. You jelly yet? All right. You can learn that for a little while, too. What about you, Freddy Krueger? Damn. Nice. Return magic. If I get hit with a magic spell, I can. Uh, he'll automatically recast it back at the opponent. Really good move to have. Well, he's still learning alert, so. But it's also an expensive move. I think it's like 10 or 15 uh, things to use it. Go to the castle? Yes, please. Let's go see Miss Dagger. Damn, we're 30 minutes into this and not a single fight has occurred. For the most part. Hey, let go! Ouch! This is no way to treat a lady. Quit screaming or I'll throw you into the dungeon. Yeah! What happened, Aiko? Sedane! Oh, it was horrible. He called me a liar and a loudmouth and a brat! Well, he's right. He ain't lying. What did you just say? Do you want to repeat that? Man, I hate kids. Calm down a little. What's your name? Me? I'm Aiko. Aiko Carol of Madain Sari. From Madain Sari? Well, I've never heard of it. Don't you know anything? Madain Sari is a... Silence! What are you all doing here? This is the royal castle. You do not belong here. Hello, Mr. Steiner. Master Vivia, pleasure to see you again. We came here to see Dagger. The princess. If that is Master Vivia's wish, I shall arrange a meeting. You all right, right here. <laughs> Amherst just sitting back, not back like, ah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Princess, we are ready. Oh my. Thank you for coming, everyone. Notice how her name is now Garnett again. She looks beautiful. Wow, you look beautiful. Splendid. Sedane, have you nothing to say? No. Princess, we must go now. Sedane. All right. Dagger, wait! Dagger. Is this the last time we're ever going to see each other? Oh, no, of course not. I won't be able to wander around the world with you anymore. But I'll never forget our journey together. Dagger. I wanted us to remain good rivals forever. Rivals? Eiko, you say the funniest thing sometimes. Oh, there are some things I wanted to give you. Let's trade the jewels as a symbol of our friendship. Two of my jewels. Two of my jewels. Goodbye, Eiko. Zidane, you fucking pussy! You could have said anything to her at this point! Why didn't you say anything to her, Zidane? I don't know. I tried. And? I couldn't say a goddamn thing! I had the whole speech ready for her, but it would have been a lie. How could I lie to her? 
Good luck, Dagger. I'll be watching you from afar. Come find me if you need to have someone to talk to. It's all a big fat fucking lie. That's not how I fucking feel at all. That's not how I fucking feel at all. Fuck! So there's only room for his dagger in Sedane's heart. I wish I hadn't written that stupid letter. Sedane looks so sad. Isn't there anything I could do for him? Ah, Sedane, I hate you! You insensitive fool! Actually, this may be a good thing in all honesty. She is six years old. That's a little... No, no. Come back in about... 12 years, maybe 11 if we're in a different state. Maybe Texas, I don't know. You don't even know how I feel. I feel bad about ditching him, but I really don't feel like seeing him tonight. I gotta hide before he shows up. Shoot! Someone's coming, could it be Zidane? What are these two doing? There's no one here, bro. I guess I'm early. Maybe. I wonder who wrote you that love letter. Well, just read the letter, I bet she's beautiful. Really? You sure you didn't write it yourself? I mean, you caught the letter falling from the floor above, you didn't, right? I'm telling you, she was too shy to hand me the letter herself. And if you don't think I'm a ladies man, you're wrong. Chicks are intimidated by good looking guys. That's why someone's coming. Marcus, don't interrupt me while I'm talking. Let's hide, bro. All right, all right. <laughs> I must tighten up security around the castle from now on. Dust to dawn, rain or shine, I must patrol the castle. Right clear. Left clear. Huh? It's a piece of paper. This looks like a letter. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. My, my, my goodness! This is a love letter! Who wrote it to whom? Hmm. No address or address C. Did someone drop it here knowing that I would pass by? Who could it have been? Oh! <laughs> hey, Cones, the name may not have worked out, thank God, but this actually might. Steiner? But Beatrix, was it you? Are they in love? Bro. Shh, quiet. Steiner? Beatrix. Ooh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> My nose is bleeding. <laughs> Stick your thumb out of it. <laughs> no way, but it. <laughs> ah, you! Ah, you! But boss. Oh, you totally ruined the scene. <laughs> and people complain that I ruined the moment. <laughs> That's a day. Where did he go? Oh, who the fuck cares? I'll go look for him. Ah! Hey, watch it! I'm not in a good mood right now. Stay out of the fuck up. Ah! Excuse me. Have you seen a young lady named Echo? Oh. It's the nerdy guy. <laughs> You're as energetic as ever. Yep, I'm always energetic. But I'm actually hurting on the inside from being rejected by Sedan. You, you're six fucking years old. He's like 16 or 17. Wait a few. Yeah! Jesus Christ, this is why you gotta ask for the ID of some of these people sometimes. And if they ain't got one, don't take the chance. Trust me. Did you say something? No, I didn't. Did you come here to talk to me about something? Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Your village. What was the name? My Dane Sari. Yes, I wanted to ask you a few questions about my Dane Sari. Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. You help me out. But why don't we go to your place? We can relax there. To my home? My home is located in Trano. It's a bit far from here. Trano sounds like a cool place. I'm really interested in sightseeing. I want to go there. Coming with you. There's a card game tournament going on tree. Oh, for fuck's sake! I want to participate. A card game tournament? That sounds fun. I want to go too. I'd like to go as well. <laughs> Quite a party this is coming. It'll be my pleasure. So I'll go to tree. <laughs> 